Starship meets its Starlink loader, the FCC approves Starlink in motion, but SpaceX isn't out of the woods yet, and Falcon accomplishes another mission. I'm Kevin, and this is a short and sweet 4th of July weekend episode of SpaceX in the News. As anticipated, Booster 7 hasn't yet lit up any of its 33 Raptor 2 engines, but vintage from Stage 0 has been seen just about every day this week as preparations are being made. Road closures pick back up after this 4th of July holiday weekend. On Tuesday, Test Tank 7.1 did execute its aerodynamic test. No word on how it performed, but it didn't explode, so there's that. But the biggest star-based news for the week happened on Thursday evening. The Starlink version 2 loading machine was lifted in the high bay and docked to Starship 24's Pez dispenser slot. Could have been for testing purposes rather than loading satellites on board since static fires have yet to be performed. But you know, after all the waiting on the FAA, it wouldn't surprise me if SpaceX was really itching to get to orbit as fast as possible. Speaking of Starlink, the FCC has granted vehicles to use Starlink internet service while in motion opening up access to commercial airliners, ships, and RVs for which SpaceX has a dedicated service plan. However, this does not resolve the 12 GHz band turf war between the company and Dish Network covered in our previous episode. SpaceX has since sent requests to Starlink customers, notifying them of the potential interference terrestrial 5G poses to their connectivity if Dish uses the same frequency as Starlink, and asking customers to support their efforts to end the threat by writing the FCC and members of Congress. Just a few days later, thousands of comments have been submitted to the FCC website. And finally, on Wednesday, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket for its second flight to place the SES-22 telecommunications satellite in geostationary orbit. It did so about a half hour after liftoff, and the booster made a picture-perfect bullseye landing on a shortfall Gravitas station in the Atlantic. Expected loss of signal, cable. Well, that's it for today. Do enjoy your 4th of July weekend, America. On behalf of the Brandon administration, I want to apologize that you won't be saving 16 cents on your barbecues this year. But have a nominal weekend regardless. And until next time, Godspeed.